Let's learn about what some of the things inside Visual Studio are actually called. Let's open Visual Studio to the splash screen right here. That's going to show the start window. Here I have a list of solutions in the MRU list. And if I wanted to create a new project, I would open the new project dialog or NPD for short, which is what we use internally. I'm just going to open an existing solution. And you can see here as it's preparing, the status bar showing some text. And to the very left here, we got the task status center showing some background tasks running. The two files I've got open, each sits in their own tab in the document well. So all tabs are in the document well. And if we hover over some of the code, we can see the quick info tooltip showing up. And if we were writing our method here, we would get signature help that would help us fill in the various different arguments that goes into the methods that we're calling. Signature help. Above each property and method and class, we see um, some gray text here with some additional information. That's called code lens. And I also get a light bulb. And that's what it's commonly referred as, uh, um, uh, just a light bulb. But the actual name is actually suggested action or sometimes just suggestions. At the top of the editor, depending on your language, you may have um, none or two or three of these drop downs right here. That's called the navigation bar. And at the bottom, where we can see there's no issues found, this is the document health indicator. So if I introduce an error in my source code, we can see that you know the health is not as good right now. So that's the document health indicator. Throughout Visual Studio, I have a lot of different tool windows, whether they're at the bottom or they're docked here on the right hand side, like Solution Explorer. They're all commonly referred to as tool windows. And in Solution Explorer, I can see my files and I can expand them to show virtual nodes about what they contain. In this case, a class that has a bunch of members in it. Those virtual nodes are called progressions. So I'm expanding the progressions. If we right click a project and go to properties, we're going to see something that's commonly referred to as the property pages. But the real name is actually app designer. Though they have no classical design surface, that is their name nonetheless. There are other types of properties. If we get the properties of a file, for instance, we can see the property grid. So a property grid has a collapsible category and then name value pairs. We find that in our tools options dialog as well. For instance, right here, I can see the same property grid control showing up in my dialog page. There's different types of dialog pages. There's one that contains the property grid, and then there are some that contains custom UI, like all of these. And finally, the search box up top is called Visual Studio Search or VS Search. It doesn't actually have a, a name, so we just refer to it as the Visual Studio Search. I hope that helped clear things up a little bit, and um, see you next time.